just could you repeat once more? Can you give people a summation of what can and cannot be done during the daytime hours after the curfew has passed? In other words, between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. I thought I'd just done. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, again, I will, I, I will go again. I think O.B. Elliott, that's who did put up that post I read earlier, said it best. From 6 p.m. to 5 a.m., you ain't supposed to move. From 5 a.m. to 6 p.m., if you have to come out from your home for some sort of essential uh, business, you're allowed to come out. So if I need to go to a supermarket, I can go to the supermarket. If you feel that you go to the supermarket, you should prepare yourself before, get a list. Then you go back home. I may need to go to a doctor because I have symptoms. You can't go to the doctor. He might give you a prescription. So I can go to a pharmacy or the health center. Most importantly, I think I keep urging it, that we should go to the health center if you're not vaccinated, to get vaccinated. Because the more and more of us get vaccinated, the less chance of us having what we're going to know. We will reach a point where we don't need to consider emergency regulations or regulations of this nature because we feel enough of us are sick are not sick. So that if one or two do get sick, it will not flare up and be a problem. That is really the principle that our health team, the Ministry of Health, has been insisting on for this year. We urge, we encourage, we appeal to our citizens to do so. Because then we will not have these types of restrictions that can be inconvenient. But it's important for us to ensure that we cover these things.